Hello and welcome to my workshop. In the next few weeks, I'll be making pen cases just like these ones. These are the pen cases that I designed, developed and have been making for over seven years now. And the recent artisan market showed me that I'm running low on stock. So I figured, you know, it's a good time to replenish my stock and also take a video and show you how it is done. So these are the original design, uh, maple and cherry both look exactly the same and they were made to accommodate the different pen sizes that I have from the very small ones to the very thick ones. One of the selling features of these pen cases is that you can take the pen and the pen case, put it in your back pocket and do a few squats. Now, obviously my overalls are not very tight, but you get the idea. The hard wood prevents anything from bending and ultimately breaking. Oddly enough, there was a story that, uh, that happened right here at my shop is a, a, a person came and asked me if I could repair a pen because that's exactly what they did. They took a fountain pen, put it in their back pocket, went and sat in the car and of course the pen broke right here in the middle and of course the fountain pen ink leaked and stained their clothes and the upholstery of the car so a pen case a wooden pen case just like this is a perfect complement to your writing instrument now in 2018 or 2019 i can't remember exactly i discovered the so-called fractal burning and that is basically the lichtenberg burn pattern which is created on the surface of the wood when high voltage passes through it. Now my tool uses 12,000 volts of electricity and as you can see, the pattern is completely random from side to side. I do have a little control over the beginning and the end of the pattern as far as location, but the, what the pattern looks like, that's completely random. And then two years ago, I kind of made my smallest pen case. Now, this is a sample because I'm out of stock on the small pen cases, so I just have the sample. And they're primarily made to accommodate my thinner uh, pen sizes. And that's because it looks much better in a smaller pen cases as opposed to the bigger one. Not that it cannot be accommodated and it doesn't fit, but it looks much better in a smaller pen case. And roughly at the same time, I also introduced what I call the double seater, where you can put a pen and a pencil set, or a fountain pen roller bowl, or two fountain pens, or anything of a set nature. Now, the making of the pens is pretty much repetitive work. And you might be wondering why I'm not using a CNC. And that's because I don't have a big CNC machine. Uh, the snap maker, the largest tool that it has is 6 millimeter in diameter and my router can accommodate router bits just like this one. And those are much faster and take much bigger chunk of wood and of course I can complete the job in a much quicker time frame. Earlier in the video I mentioned I was going to be doing this for weeks and that is because of the sheer number of pen cases that I have to make. Uh, I mentioned earlier, I'm out of stock on the small ones, so when I make pen cases, I have to figure out all the locations that I need. So that's my shop, myself at Artisan Markets, a store in Toronto that carries my product, and that store might open up a second location in Toronto, so I have about four possible locations that I need to make stock for. And I think five is a good number, so that means 20 pen cases, simple, plain pen cases. If we add the fractal burning pattern, that's another 20. And if we add the second wood or the maple wood, that's another 40. So 80 of the small pen case size. And then I have to move on to the double seaters because I'm running low on stock. Fortunately, I still have some of the uh, regular pen cases sizes, so I don't have to worry about those for now. But you can see I have a sheer number of pen cases to do. Now, I'm not going to bore you to death with you watching me do, you know, 120 pen cases. So I'm just going to limit the footage to relevant and interesting things. Speaking of which, let's get making.
Oh, this is big and it's just heavy. Oh. There we are. Whew. So these are my raw materials. The darker one is cherry and the lighter one is maple. And the good thing about the pen cases is they're relatively small size and I could use what is ordinarily scrap pieces of wood into making pen cases. When we overlay the pen cases, we can see I can get two plus a change from the maple and similarly from the cherry. Now I am going to work only on those two pieces of wood for this particular video just because uh, anything more than that is going to be very much repetitive and boring. But you get the idea that I have to do the exact same steps for every piece of wood that is on the workbench. The video will end at me drilling the holes for the hinges and the next video will focus on routing the inner channels and setting up the writer table so that we can do it safely. Now let's get working. Now, let's see how it all fits. I have already tested those two and they fit perfectly and now let's check the other ones. I have my simulation hinges and let's close it, there we are, fits perfectly. And now the other one fits perfectly as well. Now I have to repeat all these same steps for the remainder of the wood on the workbench. In the meantime, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also, follow me on all social media channels, consider supporting me on Patreon and definitely, definitely support me on the Great Psycho Challenge where I raise funds to fight kids' cancer. All the links are down in the description.